One of the most cringe-worthy things I see as a Rush chairman, and this is on both sides of the field, is the use of the phrase top house or top tier. You might as well walk into the room wearing a t-shirt that says, I'm rushing for all the wrong reasons. Don't use that term as a rushy, and if you hear a rush chair say it, you should probably evaluate anything else they're saying too. It's an indication that they're also recruiting for the wrong reason. High pressure tactics, rush chairs use to make you feel cornered and like you have to sign the bid. We're really starting to fill up quick. I can't guarantee you a spot unless you sign now. Well, we'd love for you to come out with us tonight, but unfortunately we can't do it unless you sign the bid card. They're using alcohol, they're hanging it in front of your face, they'll tell you about party buses, girls, all this fun stuff you get to do if you sign your bid card then. A good fraternity will never push you into signing your bid card. They will not put a timestamp on it. Clark's five tips of a strong house. First things first, take a look at their GPA. Take a look at the overall GPA of every fraternity and are they in the top 33% of this pack? This goes back to research. Check the campus average for fraternity membership. Are they above the average? Good sign. Supportive alumni. This one is really big. If they have a strong and supportive alumni base, this means that the fraternity meant a lot to them during their undergraduate years and they're ready to give back and they want to give back to the house that built them. High retention rates equals brotherhood. Ask how many members are in the senior class and ask how many members are in the freshman class. A large discrepancy between these numbers means the members didn't find enough value throughout the four years of the house to keep paying for dues. College is a lot to handle and this is a really important question you need to ask them. What is their initiation rate? If they rush 40 kids and only initiate 25, that means 15 kids weren't able to make grades or they didn't fit in for whatever reason. That could be you. You want to go for a fraternity that has a high retention rate. This will help build a structure your first semester of college, adapt to the change, and make sure you stay on track to graduate, which you originally came to do. The worst fucking thing you can do. Do not ask about bid cards. Don't ask when you're going to get a bid card. Don't ask when they give out bid cards. Fraternities aren't going to string you along. That's cruel. If they keep inviting you back, you're still in the contesting run. If you ask, see you fucking later. Nothing screams desperation like a kid who asks about bid cards. Don't be that guy. Fratrush101.com. Check us out. Check out my other videos. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you.